Hello gardening friends, this is Webster from My Therapy Garden. We're playing the dirt, help to take away the hurt. Today we're going to look at what to do with our roses in late fall or winter. And what do we do with our rose at this time of the year? <laughs> we do nothing. <laughs> yes, believe it or not, we do nothing. We let our rose rest. Our rose is now going to sleep. And as gardeners, we don't like to do nothing in the garden. And when we see our rose looking like this, we're thinking, oh man, this is so bad. But actually, it's a good thing. Why? Because the rose need to set hips at this time of the year. And the hips is when we leave the rose like this. We didn't deadhead it. So what we have is that beauty right there. Okay, so the rose is going to set seed. So as times go on, this part is going to get even more swollen. And when that happens, this tells the rose it's time to go dormant. So it will stop producing flower. Because if we continue deadheading at this time of the year, then we're going to have what? More flowers. Okay, so the rose is not going to go to sleep. And if we have in more flowers, that means the rose is going to continue um, growing and producing new bud. And when we get that cold freeze, it's going to kill the flower. So at this time of the year, we do nothing for the roses. We let the roses set hips and go dormant. Let it go to sleep. That's where it's storing the energy. So the rose won't die. It's going to look like that with the hips the leaves are going to fall off that's okay but remember the rose is sending the energy into the roots so we're getting stronger roots for the roses at this time we would only touch our roses meaning like pruning the roses if it have any of the three d's that i always talk about if any of the cane is dead we can prune that off have it removed if it's diseased or if it's damaged. We know that in fall, a lot of time when our roses are this tall, in the wind, they can be whipping around, okay? My rose right here in heavy wind will be blowing against the window. So far, it hasn't actually hit the mesh. I'm always worried about that. But if it hit the mesh where all the thorns would rip my mesh apart it would be okay go ahead and cut it back and i would cut it back all the way down here so you would only prune your rose if the canes are dead diseased or damaged otherwise we let the rose rest and recuperate <laughs> sending out strong roots for next year let it set hips and go dormant. I didn't prune over here, but we have some roses that are coming. That Mr. Lincoln right there. Okay, so we'll still have some beauty in the garden. Our roses won't be in their prime. Okay, and yes, we hate that when our roses aren't looking their best at all times. But in actuality, this is a time for the roses to rest. So don't beat yourself up and don't go pruning your rose or deadheading your rose at this time if everything is okay. You'll have beautiful flower next uh, spring, next season. Your rose will come alive and will give you beauty and more pleasure in the garden. So here we just talk about what to do with our roses right now in late fall going into winter and the answer is we do nothing we do nothing let the rose set hips uh, grow strong roots for next year again if you have canes that are damaged dead or diseased you can go ahead and prune that apart from that enjoy the rose in a different form without the um without the flowers the rose hips can be lovely they'll take on a nice orange color 
which would still put some uh, color in the garden and we have to appreciate the garden in all its form okay guys so there we have it we just talk about our roses today what to do with our roses in the winter or late fall and um, we'll just enjoy our roses a little longer and we'll have stronger roses next year so from my therapy garden to yours this is webster we're playing the dirt help me to take away the hurt and we just look at what to do with our roses during late fall towards winter <laughs> okay guys have a great day i'll see you in the next video god bless bye for now